So for my PhD, I investigated the restoration of the innate immune system after long-term antiretroviral therapy in HIV-infected individuals that are attending the Infectious Disease Institute HIV treatment cohorts. Specifically, I looked at circulating monocytes, natural killer cells, and innate lymphoid cells among the many innate immune cells. So why did I look at these cell types? Monocytes are important cells in the innate immune system. They're classified into the classical monocytes, which are predominantly phagocytic, and they exhibit high peroxidase activity in response to antigens, for example, IOPS. The non-classical group is known for removing damaged cells and debris from circulation, and they are associated with wound healing and resolution of inflammation. And the intermediate monocytes are inflammatory and produce cytokines like interleukin beta and TNF. I observed monocyte activation with impaired antigen presentation and low interleukin-1 beta production despite long-term suppressive antiretroviral therapy. These persistent abnormalities observed in the monocyte compartment may play a role in increasing the risk of non-communicable diseases associated with chronic infection and may also show that there is impaired response to invading pathogens among these individuals. I also looked at the natural killer cell compartment Natural killer cells have exceptional roles in the host response to infection, including bridging of the gap between the innate and adaptive immune system. They recognize and kill virally infected cells and are well recognized for clearing cancerous and stressed cells from the body. So for this work, I observed that NK cells were persistently activated and there was low cytolytic activity and low cytokine production, despite several years of suppressive antiretroviral therapy. It is likely that these untreated individuals whom we dealt with may remain susceptible to opportunistic infections and malignancies of viral origin. I also looked at the innate lymphoid cell compartment and innate lymphoid cells are predominantly found at mucosal surfaces. They are gatekeepers to invading infectious agents through rapid secretion of immune regulatory cytokines. We observed that HIV-associated destruction of the mucosal lymphoid layer depletes many cells including the innate lymphoid cells and this may lead to many other immune dysfunctions. I observed alterations in the innate lymphoid cell compartment looking at the numbers and function despite suppressive antiretroviral therapy and this was 12 years of suppressive antiretroviral therapy. This may likely affect the quality of host innate and adaptive immune responses during long-term antiretroviral therapy. So in general, my results showed that there were persistent perturbations within these innate cell compartments, even with successful long-term antiretroviral therapy. These findings implied that antiretroviral therapy-treated individuals may remain at risk of acquiring opportunistic infections in the absence of prophylaxis. And this data also suggests that there may be need to review effectiveness of vaccines among antiretroviral therapy-treated individuals in the African cohorts.